What's going on y'all? I'm Czar and in this video we're going to be reviewing the VLA-2A Mark II from Black Rooster Audio. So this is an updated version of their popular VLA compressor and I'm really excited to check this out because as y'all know I love opto compressors and with the Mark II here they've added some very notable new features that just giving it the eye test makes this one of the most versatile opto compressors available. So under new features we have under the Mark II, we now have a wet and dry knob, we've got a opto cell selector, we have side chain and emphasis, just to name a few. So we're gonna go over the controls here, and then of course I'll let you hear what it sounds like. So starting at the top, we have emphasis control, which is gonna control the emphasis on the high frequencies. You can turn the uh, plug-in on and off here, limit and compress, here where you can turn on your external side chain. And this is the cell selector. So if you're familiar with opto compressors and LA-2As, they have a T4 opto cell in them. And this cell select is emulating three different opto cells in the compressor here. So it's really giving you three different compressors. And each one of these has their own attack and release time. We have your gain here. We have peak reduction. And an interesting feature here for an opto compressor is a makeup gain, especially one that's emulating a uh, LA-2A. So we have makeup gain here, which is something I never felt that I've wanted on LA-2A, but after using this, I'm gonna show you how it can be uh, really handy. From there, we also have our wet and dry that I just mentioned and your VU meter uh, select. And uh, clicking on Black Rooster down here in the bottom left will take you to the site where you can check out some more of their other uh, products that they have available. All right, so I've got a, a vocal here from uh, Coretta King. We're going to bypass it. Uh, no other processing on this vocal except for a little bit of reverb. Actually, no, I take that back. I've got some EQ on it. Uh, but I just wanted to hear this dry with no compression and listen to what needs to be compressed and then we'll see how the VLA-2A handles this. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump football, he got monkey finger, he shoot Coca-Cola, he said, I know you, you know me, yeah. One thing I can tell you is you got to be free. Come together uh, right now. Yeah, over me. All right, so definitely need some compression on this vocal. She's hitting some strong parts uh, that gets aggressive, and you can really hear it jumping out. So we definitely want to level that out. And perfect type of compressor for this is a LA-2A style compressor, as we have here with the VLA-2A. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on and... Uh, let's dial this in. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump football, he got monkey finger, he shoot coca cola, he said. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump football, he got monkey finger, he shoot coca cola, he said. I know you. together uh, right now yeah over me all right so that was really impressive got up to 10 db of gain reduction there as with opto compressors it's very smooth compression behavior we're not really hearing the compression which is great which is what i want uh, let's go through these other uh, opto cells here so you can hear the difference there uh, so that was a uh, and this is b he no shoe shine, he got toe jump football, he got monkey finger, he shoot Coca Cola, he said. All right, so definitely hearing the compression there. Uh, this B, I feel, is a, a faster attack, more aggressive. Uh, let's check out C. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump football, he got. He shoot Coca-Cola, he said. 
All right, so C to me is slower. So if we want to think of A is maybe what a typical LA-2A is, is what it feels like to me. And then B, we've got a more aggressive attack. And then C, we've got a slower attack there. Three different type of compression types that we have here. All right, uh, I'm going to increase the peak reduction here so we can get some more compression. And I'll show you how the makeup gain can be really useful. Because now I can turn up this peak reduction, get more compression than what I really want, but then I can bring up that makeup gain to smooth it back out. He, we're going to go back to A. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump up all he got monkey. All right, so there with the peak reduction at 80, now we can hear the compressor really pulling down the vocal and now we're going to bring up the makeup gain. He wear no shoe shine, he got toe jump All right, this is giving it a more aggressive character there. Very interesting to get that kind of tone out of a LA-2A type compressor. All right, uh, let's check out how it sounds on bass. All right, so we're going to use the VLA-2A Mark II on some bass here. Right now, I have it bypassed, and this is what it sounds like in the track. All right, now let's turn on the VLA-2A Mark II. All right, so really helping the bass come in your face there. Of course, we got the gain uh, cranked here to bring up the level on it as well. Uh, now let's solo it as you can hear what it's doing on its own. And this is with the VLA 2A. And with it bypassed. So the VLA 2A there is definitely adding some warmth and character to the bass, and I'm really liking how this is sounding on bass, as generally LA 2A type compressors do. So final thoughts on the VLA 2A Mark II. I love what Black Rooster has done here. Y'all know I'm not a fan of clones. I feel like if you're going to clone something, that's cool, but make it better. Don't give me the same exact controls and stuff that we had from the 50s and 60s. Let's add to it. And that's exactly what Black Rooster has done here with the mix knob, makeup gain, uh, the sales select alone, giving you three different type of uh, compression here. This is going to make this work on pretty much anything that you would expect a opto to work on. You don't have to go grab another opto compressor uh, because the one that you have here isn't fitting it. You can just switch the cell, and I love that. Uh, this is definitely going to make this a first choice for me when I go for an opto compressor because I know I can get what I want out of it. You know, looking at someone like UA, they're going to give you three different LA 2A plugins that all perform differently, whereas Black Rooster is giving, giving it to you all in one plug-in. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And I forgot to point it out, but check this out. We can change the GUI size to extra, extra large, which I hate squinting at some of these plugins. Look how big we can make this. Like this just fitting on my screen here at uh, extra, extra large. So 
I love being able to resize the GUI to that. I mean, I wouldn't use it that big, but just having the, the option there is really nice. Because like I said, some of these plugins, I got to squint to see some of this stuff. But options and features aside, this sounds great. Smooth, transparent compression. And with the makeup gain, you can really drive it to get some character. So that's just adding to the versatility that you have here. All right, let's talk price. Uh, this has a intro price right now of $59. And if you already own VLA 2A, the first version, the original version, you get this upgrade for free. You can check your Black Rooster accounts now and it should be in there to download the update. So really cool that you get a free update if you owned the original version. And I'll admit, I've never heard of Black Rooster. Well, I've heard of Black Rooster. I've seen them in uh, Instagram ads on my Instagram that I've just scrolled past like I do every other ad. But uh, I'm definitely going to be paying more attention to them now and checking out other products that they have available. All right, so there's my review of the VLA-2A Mark II. I've got a link in the description. If you want to learn more about this plugin, check it out or pick it up. And if you like this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I invite you to check out my podcast, The Faders Up Podcast, a podcast about pro audio and beyond. Season three is now underway, and in this season, we'll be doing a lot of topics requested by listeners. So if you have a topic you want to hear discussed on the podcast, email us, DM us, or join us in our Facebook group, Faders Up Podcast, and let us know. And if you haven't checked out the podcast yet, I have a link in the description that'll take you to the page.